Wow, did you hear that? In 1977, a single radio signal from deep space shook the scientific world. It lasted just 72 seconds, but it left behind decades of mysteries. Was it aliens? Was it a cosmic anomaly or something we just couldn't yet comprehend? Today's new research may finally offer us an answer. In the summer of 1977, at Ohio State's Big Ear Radio Telescope, researchers detected a powerful and unusual radio signal from the constellation Sagittarius. One astronomer was so amazed, he scribbled wow on the printout. But the signal never repeated. No source could ever be identified, and the mystery endured. For decades, the wow signal symbolized humanity's quest to answer the ultimate question, are we alone in the universe? And for decades, all we've gotten back is silence. Until now. So what is the significance of the WOW signal? The WOW signal became a rallying point for SETI, the search for extraterrestrial intelligence. It came in at a frequency of 1420 megahertz, which is a frequency closely and intimately linked to hydrogen, the most abundant element in the universe. And thought to be the most likely frequency for alien civilization to communicate on. Sort of the 5G network of aliens. If aliens wanted to communicate, they would choose a frequency that's fundamental to life itself. That was the thought process. But skeptics countered, could there be a natural explanation? And this tension between hope and skepticism has made the wow signal a legendary for nearly 50 years. So what have scientists recently uncovered that cast doubt on the alien origin of the wow signal? So recently, lead author Abel Mendez, director of the Planetary Habitability Laboratory at the University of Puerto Rico, who many years ago dismissed the wow signal as a glitch, has now reanalyzed the data from several similar signals that he found unexpectedly in data that was taken from the Arecibo Observatory. These archival data products allowed him to actually say, wow. Well, now, decades later, scientists may have cracked the case. In 2020, observations from the Arecibo Observatory revealed an intriguing phenomenon. Hydrogen clouds energized by nearby stars could be the culprit. In fact, when these clouds interact with intense radiation, they produce short, sharp bursts of energy, exactly like the wow signal. And since these clouds are made of hydrogen, they contain the necessary ingredients to reproduce this incredibly abundant, naturally occurring signal at 1420 megahertz, or otherwise known as 21 centimeter radiation. This triggering of a burst of energy could match exactly the original signal's profile. And this explanation shifts the wow signal from an alien beacon to a natural signal of the cosmos. It's a little less exciting for sure, but it also reveals how little we understand about the dynamic interactions of our universe. We should always look for prosaic explanations rather than more far out or outlandish explanations, as much as we might want them to be true. Some scientists remain skeptical of Mendez's explanation, including Yvette Kendez, a radio astronomer at the University of Oregon, who wasn't involved in this work, but she says it has promise, but the details are still pretty scant. And even co-authors of the paper, including Kevin Ortiz Savalos, a graduate student in astrophysics at Harvard, says we're not saying this is definitely the case. We're saying it's a very exciting hypothesis. So it might be a little less sexy than searching for aliens, but the search for a natural explanation always has to be at the top of mind for a good scientist. So why does this story matter to you? The WOW signal isn't just a story about science. It's a symbol of human curiosity. It reminds us of our endless quest to understand the unknown. The tools we use to solve such mysteries, from radio telescopes to advanced algorithms, ripple through our lives, driving innovation in technology, communication, and exploration. The Big Ear Radio Telescope isn't really used anymore, and Arecibo's long gone. But the quest endures. And even if the WOW signal wasn't aliens, the journey to explain it continues to inspire people worldwide to look up and wonder what's out there. 
In some ways, the WOW signal has transcended its original mystery. Whether or not it was aliens, it taught us the importance of keeping an open mind and investing in the search for answers. It also highlights how dramatically important first contact will be if or when it ever comes. The universe is vast, and mysteries like this remind us why exploration matters. And we should be also open to an explanation that is somewhat of a letdown. Because sometimes the most prosaic, the simplest possible explanations are often correct. While this chapter on the wow signal is now closed, the book of cosmic mysteries is far from finished. The answers we're seeking might just be waiting in a mere 72 second light burst across. Stay tuned next time for more fascinating deep dives into cutting edge science with me, Brian Keating, the Chancellor's Distinguished Professor of Physics at UC San Diego. And click here for my top content on the true search for aliens that still endures to this day.